So I, I manatees the elephants of the ocean? That hurts my brain. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified for future videos. Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft One Life episode and in today's episode we're gonna try and get set up to go to a woodland mansion. <gasps> So let's begin. First part of call, finding a villager who is a cartographer. So I need to find a village that's actually got villagers left that hasn't been killed. Now, if only there was an easy way to find villagers. If I land on here, so I'm out of the way, and we go to my mini map. Do right, there's a village right there. Is that the closest one? Yeah, I think that's the closest village out of them all. Yeah, that's the closest village. So we're gonna fly over there. So I need to fly west. So we're gonna head west, see if we can find a cartographer, and we need to level him up. Because once he levels up, that's when we can get the woodland map. Aha! Here you are! How do you do, fellow kids? Please have villagers in. I hope everyone isn't dead. Everyone's going to be dead, aren't they? Is everyone dead? I feel like everyone's been turned into zombies. This is hard, man, because everyone's gonna be zombies. So there was no villagers at that village. Conspiracy time. If villagers live in villages, but Kyle goes to a village and there are no villages, is a village really a village without any villagers? Shane Dawson, we need your help. Everyone was dead, which is great. So I'm going to fly off and try and find another village. And hopefully, through the power of editing, we will come across one. Three days later. I have found... A village. Does anyone live here? Is everyone dead? Is this another village where everyone's dead? Hello? Anybody home? Hello? There's a single bird. Where are all the inhabitants of this once proud village? Are you all dead? Oh my goodness. I think they're all dead. If zombies could stop going around murdering all the villagers, that would be greatly appreciated. Wow. Nothing remains but birds. And a donkey. Four to six days later. Oh, we have another village. We have another village. And there's... No one here again. Anyone? Any? <gasps> Signs of life. Hello, sir. Don't run away from me. You are a cleric. You don't have what I need. I don't need a cleric. You go back to your church. Shepherd. Hello, shepherd. Another shepherd. Hello. I know there's more of you around here. Where are you all? Are you in this house? I'm so confused. Okay. None of you are what I need. Are you okay, sir? Do you need assistance? There you go, mate. Also, what? Why is this generated here? Minecraft, you crazy. <laughs> Oh wow, another dungeon? I wonder if this one's got any skulls in. Last few I've been in have not had any skulls. Well, time to quickly run to the bottom, find a tomb. Okay, there's a mysterious door. Um, what the heck is this? Guys, what, what is this? Wait, is he firing fireworks? Yo, I'm gonna miss that. What? No, don't stop, 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 don't stop. Are you kidding me? He fired fireworks and I missed it. Well, that's so cool. This is the best thing ever. Oh, that's crazy. It's here, look. I have my very own fireworks display. How cool is this? I didn't even know this was a thing. This is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, this one's full of rooms. What is this dungeon? Statistics? What? What is this? Statistics you speak of. Oh, wow, okay. There's 105 mob spawners in it and 100 chests. Yo, that's crazy. Another room? Yo, this dungeon's mental. I've never been in one like this before. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Or is it just set up? It's just set up. Okay, that's cool. An anvil, the forge. This dungeon's crazy. There's gotta be more stuff further down. All the other dungeons have been like tombs and stuff, but this one's like someone's been living in it. This is the first dungeon I've encountered where someone's been living here. The rest have just been tombs. I feel like I should probably turn the fireworks off, but I think I'll leave them on. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're not going that way. What are these rooms? What is going on? This dungeon is crazy. So this is obviously like a dining area. This is like a garden? A brewing area? I don't have a brewing stand, so I feel like I should take it. It doesn't give you it. Oh boy. Okay, these are totally booby trapped. I hit and I'll run. We run away. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. There is a zombie riding a manticore. What has my life become? What is going on? I didn't even know that was a thing. And now there's a zombie riding a nightmare? What is going on. What is this game? What are these dungeons? Several days later. I found another village, but I think this village is under attack, so I'm gonna have to go in and save everyone. If there is a cartographer here and he dies, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Hello, narrator here. And thus begins the search for the elusive cartographer. 
These villages can be found. Well in villages lol. Will Kyle find one or will his quest ultimately fail? Will the cartographer come through and will Kyle finally be able to get the journey he so seeks? Will the villagers be on his side? Well, I'll stop talking so you can find out. I need to find him. Where is the cartographer? Where are you? There's so many different villages here. One of them has to be the cartographer. Someone, please be the cartographer. Come on. A butcher and a farmer. What does the butcher give me? Raw food? Okay, I'll go out this way, actually. Take shelter in your houses. Do not come outside. Fisherman. Oh my goodness. There's so many fishermen, but I don't need fishermen. Librarian. Another one. No. I need a cartographer. Uh-oh. You guys need to stop right now. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, there's a house right up on top of the hill. Maybe he lives up there. Maybe he lives at the top of the hill. I didn't think of this. Let's go up. Is there any village? There's no villages up here, is there? There is no villages up there. What a joke. There's just librarians, and that's not what I need at all. Oh, wait. Ice Plains Pathfinder map? Librarian has things for me. Desert Pathfinder map? Savannah? Empty map? Hager map? Ocean Explorer map? Woodland Explorer map? It's you. I found the librarian does it. But the only issue is I don't have enough emeralds. How do I get emeralds? How do I get emeralds? Can I trade? Oh, there we go. Wait, I just lost loads of emeralds? I had way more emeralds than that. I'm so confused. Did I throw my emeralds? Oh, I'm so annoyed. I found who I need. I need you. I need to protect you at all costs. Okay, I need to come to this village. Let me mark it on the map. We need to come here. I need to go mine loads of coal and or get loads of string. And in fact, there's literally a dungeon here. So maybe I can run into the dungeon and get all the string. So I'm going to run into the dungeon. And then when I come back out, I should have all the string I need. Two thousand years later. Well, everyone, we have a small problem. And that small problem is that a good 40 minutes of my footage after I went and got my woodland map and did some treasure hunting as well. I got my treasure maps out and did some treasure hunting that I had saved. For some reason, it recorded the game footage, but not my mic. So that's the thing that happened. I don't know why it happened, but I can show you that I have my woodland map. So over here, look, we've got my buried treasure map and as you can see, it's fully explored now. And then we have the woodland map, which I have here. So I'm excited to go check this out and find out where this woodland mansion is. I know Callum was wanting to do it, so I think I'm might do it with Callum and then we have look another buried treasure map we've explored that one and that one so we went and got three bits of buried treasure which it just didn't have anything exciting really ancient tome were the best things that they had so somehow I managed to break my game don't know how but it happened but it's that time of the episode again guys it's time for the random fact of the day today's interesting fact is brought to you by Artemis and their fun fact is manatees are more closely related to elephants than anything else so I looked into this and their closest relation genetically is actually the land living elephant so are manatees the elephants of the ocean that hurts my brain do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head But anyway, thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, leave an interesting fact down below, hit the notification bell so you are notified for future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully I don't break it. And there you have it ladies, gentlemen and zombies. The most emotional episode of One Life yet. I think we can all learn a valuable lesson today from Kyle, and it is that life is not about the destination, but the journey. After exploring the dark depths of the creepy dungeon, Kyle successfully got enough string to buy emeralds, and in turn buy maps to find the mysterious buried treasure. After flying for what seemed like 456,000 years, he finally found it. Now what was inside you may ask? It, it was useless gunpowder string and bones. Cough. Anyways, ultimately, the lesson learned here today is... Never, never trust, trust villages, ever. I'm back, it's me, that narrator has gone. But in all seriousness, guys, sorry about the missing footage. There was a slight error with my recording of this one life. Some might say I did a CPK, although I did actually remember to record, unlike Callum, bless him. So we've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes, Kyle, haven't we? We have indeed. This guy, YouTuber for the last six years, recorded a video every day for pretty much six years, didn't press start recording. Still can't believe he did that, but I recorded, and for some reason, it didn't record my voice. And I don't know why, it just got lost somewhere 
in the mists of time. It disappeared. I don't know why I'm making it sound magical. It's not that magical, but as always, thank you so much for the support recently. It's been amazing. One Life's doing super well, and it's all thanks to you guys who are watching, liking, and sharing the video. So it's just a little message from me to you guys just to say thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Aww.